Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a map view into an application. You know, adding map view into the application is not that difficult as you might be thinking. It is so easy and we'll see how. I've just created a single view application and I've not added anything yet. And now I go to main.storyboard. On the first place, I'll add a map view here. And I'll also add the constraints so that the map view fits into the entire page. Zero distance from top, left, right and bottom and add the constraints. Done. So I'll also have to enable one property of this map view so that the location of user gets highlighted and here it is user location. This can of course be enabled here or it can be written via code also. Since we have the you know option here, I'm right away enabling it. Now I go to my view controller and I'll import the map kit in the first place. Map kit. Oh yeah. And then remember, I'll need CL location manager delegate. I'll create an instance of location manager. It is this manager that is going to, you know, start observing the location and all that. So I will have to instantiate self dot location manager is equal to CL location manager and in it. And always do remember whenever you know we use camera, map, or so on, so we'll have to get you know the permission from the user to do that. It is always very necessary and it is mandated by Apple, so that should also be done. Location manager dot request always authorization. So when I do this, this line will show a pop-up to the user where user will decide whether to allow or not to allow the usage of map view. So I can also give the text which has to be displayed in the pop-up and that has to be given in info.plist. So I can choose privacy, location, usage, okay, allow, map, usage so i want this text to be displayed to the user and i come back to view controller so all this is done now we'll have to start listening to the location change so this is the code start updating location so this line this line is going to you know start to listen to the changes in the user's location so I'll run this application and we'll see what happens. Of course, I'm using the simulator and simulator, you know, is not built with GPS functionality. And so I'll have to simulate the location change that can be done easily via an option which is going to appear here in a while. My simulator is taking some time to load. Please hold on. We are almost done. And you would really appreciate how easy it is to add map view. Here we come. And map view, map view. Please, please. Oh, come on. So slow. I agree. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. So this is the alert which is being shown to the user. And since I have given it in view did load, as soon as, as the view is loaded, this alert is being shown. And notice the text that we gave in info.playlist is being displayed here. So I give hello. Fine. Now, here you see this icon which is like, you know, navigation kind of icon. On clicking this, I can simulate the location. So I'll click on this. Okay. Before that, let me, you know, get the simulator on screen so that it is easy to see here okay so now i'll click on this and simulate india Ta -da! we get the blue icon here showcasing the lo simulator location okay so this is all it is as simple as this just drag the map view and extend the cl location manager delegate request for authorization and start updating the location and the location is being updated and this blue icon is appearing because earlier in the property I enabled the option 
show users location well this is all but then i'll show you another real challenge i click on this and say i choose china oh god the blue mark has gone somewhere of course it has gone to china but you see our map is not you know zoom to china location so now that is the next challenge and this challenge will be covered in the next video so in the next video we'll see how we can zoom the map to the required location that is all about adding map view keep following more videos and do watch next video for more information on using the map view do subscribe like comment thank you